Hi folks, what happens when you wash your t-shirt graphics on your printed t-shirts at the wrong temperature? Let's take a look. Right, okay everyone, this is what I wanted to show you today. You may recognize these three t-shirts, there's three t-shirts that we've pressed in previous videos and if you want to go back in my uh, playlist, you'll be able to find these being actually pressed as proof of how long ago I actually did them. I wanted to explain to you about the different types of media that we apply to our t-shirts and what happens when you wash them at the wrong temperature. Now, first of all, if you remember this t-shirt that we printed, I think at the time of this video was about 11 months ago. I featured this video, uh, this t-shirt in my last video. And this is a typical vinyl, a clothing vinyl mixed with a t-shirt, dark t-shirt transfer graphic. And as you can see there, after 11 months of washing, the uh, vinyl is perfect and the actual transfer is pre uh, perfect as well. No color de deterioration there whatsoever. And these two medias have different washing temperatures. But as a safeguard, we always wash at 40 degrees C, which is a cool wash on a modern washing machine. As you can see, the color has remained perfect. There's been no bleeding, no fading whatsoever. Now this was a t-shirt that I'd done maybe a few months ago and it's been perfect. Exactly the same as that. I use one of my old t-shirts here. And again, it's the white vinyl and we put a picture of a magnet on there, obviously, in, again, dark t-shirt vinyl. Now, if you can see that one, now that one is actually faded, and I'm sure you'll see, it's been fine until we've done the last wash. And the last wash we've done, we put this in accidentally in a 60 degree, what, in other words, a hot wash. And one wash, it's caused the color to run. So although these two t-shirts have the same media applied to them, in other words, the same vinyl, and also the same t-shirt transfers. This one's been washed for 11 months, washed at 40 degrees C. This one was washed at 40 degrees C until we accidentally put it in the washing machine at 60 degrees C and the color will run. Now, so that's what you have to watch out for. So in other words, all your adverts, when you sell your t-shirt, just make it clear to people that wash at 40 degrees C. That covers you and you know that these colors aren't gonna bleed as in this one. This one, has had many, many more washes than this one, but one wash in a 60 degree C has caused that to happen. Now vinyls, as you can see, if we get close to that there, the vinyls, absolutely no problem at all with the vinyl stay intact. They don't peel off if you're using a good quality vinyl as we do. And just the same as this. So this has never seen 60 degrees and it's fine. This saw 60 degrees once and the transfer for dark t-shirt transfers is actually deteriorated. Now, as another test, what I did as well was to put this T-shirt, you remember this one we done with the four different medias on in one of my previous videos as well. We put this again, just as a test purpose, through the hot wash as well, which is a 60 degree wash. And let's see what the results are. Now this T-shirt transfer is the normal white T-shirt transfer that I use. And as I said, this has been through the 60 degree wash. That has not suffered in the slightest. So the colors are not faded, there's been no bleeding, no cracking or anything like that. That t-shirt transfer for white t-shirt transfers, which is different than this t-shirt transfer for dark t-shirt transfers. Remember that, these are two totally different graphics, uh, t-shirts for the different types of t-shirt. That hasn't suffered at all under the 60 degree wash. This one here, like that one, has bled, not bled as much, but the color has faded away as you can see there, where you've lost most of the vivid colors, as you can see, still got in that one there. This was the sub to cotton product now, which as you can see now is really a very poor design there. Although it didn't really do any much more than what happened before. So we wouldn't be using this product after doing our longevity test and our washing tests. And also this was the Plastisol inks, as I told you about, that we've got. And in actual fact, this has actually deteriorated a lot more with a lot more white dots on it now, where the actual Plastisol ink has given way. Now, with regards to the Plastisol inks, if they was cheap enough, we would use them all the time. Now, someone pointed out in my last video when I'd done my 
uh, test video on this t-shirt where we looked at the Plastisol links. Uh, let someone who does Plastisol links or t-shirt printing, screen printing, correctly pointed out that just like normal links, just like anything, you've got different grades and there's a lot of cheap stuff out there on the market. Well, these transfers that I got from these plastics will come from a supplier in Czechoslovakia and it was a, a big company, so they was obviously promoting and I, I sent for one of their information packs where they sent me a load of their, their normal standard inks. So it wasn't cheap ink that I bought, these are actually a quality ink, but I do understand that there are different grades of ink. So if you're going down the Plastisol ink route to have your t-shirt designs, one at the moment they're very, very expensive because to have a multicolored design made for you in a small batch, it is cost prohibitive because they need to make a frame up, they need to make a screen up for each of the different colors. So for example, if you've got a five t-shirt design screen at uh, color on your t-shirt they've got to make five separate screens and then lay it out and then lay it on top of your transfer paper just like they would do making a cheese for tr uh, transfer uh, on on the t-shirt they just put it on your transfer paper which they then would send to you and that was very very dear to have it done that way and you can't you can't realistically have it done for a single or one or one short run t-shirt so that's the reason why plastic soul links at this moment in time uh, transfers are not very good because they're unaffordable in different colors and it's, you need a larger run. So yeah, there's our little test. So the bottom line is the t-shirt transfers I use, I use a light t-shirt transfer for white t-shirts, I use a dark t-shirt transfer for dark t-shirts and I also use clothing vinyl. Clothing vinyl, you haven't got a problem with washing. You can wash them at 60 degrees C, a high hot wash, and there'll be no degradation at all, providing you're using decent vinyls. The t-shirt transfer papers I use are specifically for a cool wash. In other words, 40 degrees or below. After 11 months, 40 degrees, absolutely fine, no problems whatsoever. One wash on a hot wash, which is 60 degrees, will make your dark t-shirt transfers uh, fade. If you're just using white t-shirt transfers and one accidentally slips through the net, as you can see there, there's no degradation of the white t-shirt transfer whatsoever. So there you go. I don't think there's any videos out there which show longevity tests. So if you're interested to find out what transfer papers I use or vinyls, I include that information on my training DVD and if you want to use the same stuff, do check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find it. Because a lot of people are probably doing the t-shirt transfers, not knowing what temperature to wash, because I get so many people say, oh, I've, I've washed it and it's bled. And if that's the reason, my t-shirt transfers that I use, which I've done for 11 years, should be washed on a cool wash. As with most modern garments now, with the increased power of today's washing powders, you don't need to use a hot wash. It's all about energy saving. So most people prefer to use a lower wash temperature, which is 40 degrees or below, and let the modern powders do their job to clean the garment rather than using high temperature. Okay then, thanks very much. Hope to see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.